dear guys let's see today hamiltonian graphs a spiral cycle in a graph is called a hamiltonian cycle a graph which contains this hamiltonian cycle is called a hamiltonian graph in other words we can say that a graph which visits every vertex exactly once without repeating any edges then we can say that is said to be hamiltonian cycle a graph which visits every vertex exactly one but not repeating the edges so hence we can say it is the graph is said to be hamiltonian cycle you can recall this eulerian graph a graph which visits every edge exactly once and repeating vertices that is eulerian and hamiltonian every vertex visit exactly once without repeating the edges let's see by an example yeah this graph which you can see star of 20 vertices as per our hamiltonian condition the vertex every vertex should visit exactly once and not repeating the edges so one possibility so i'm start with vertex 1 it visit all the vertices again not repeating the edges and comes to the initial point that is the initial point and the terminal point should be equal this is one possibility and the second possibility i start with the one again moves to 5 4 3 2 all the vertices it is covering and not repeating any edges so covering of all the edges is doesn't matter but all the vertex should be covered exactly once as we can say that this is hamiltonian this graph is nothing but do decahedron so do decahedron is hamiltonian now you can see a trick let g be a graph with the degrees equals d1 less than or equal to d2 less than or equal to dm if for every i less than n by 2 either di greater than or equal to di plus 1 or dn minus i greater than or equal to n minus i if it's so then we can say that the graph is hamiltonian that's nothing but hamilton theorem you can see this theorem by using an example so to this example here consists of six vertices and you can write the degree sequence here 2 4 4 4 3 3 degrees that you have to write in as an order so 2 3 3 4 4 4 right so according to our theorem t d1 less than or equal to d2 less than or equal to etc less than dm so here 2 less than or equal to 3 less than or equal to 3 etc etc 4 so that you have to name as d1 d2 d3 etc d6 so here n equal to 6 means it consists of 6 vertices so for by theorem for every i less than n by 2 either this two condition get satisfied so let's see If I took i is equal to one, right? So there are six vertices. So first I am taking i uh, took i is equal to one. So our theorem i less than n by two. So i is here as one. So one less than n is six. So six by two is equal to three, which is one less than three. Yes, right? So you can check. What are the two conditions? D i greater than or equal to i plus one, or D n minus i is greater than or equal to n minus i. So here I checked with the D i greater than or equal to i plus one. So value of i is one greater than or equal to i plus one two. So you can see D one value here. D one value is two. So that two uh, is greater than or equal to two. Definitely. So it's okay. So you have to check for every i less than n by two. Next, we can take i is equal to two. 
and check for i less than n by 2. So 2 less than n is here 6, 6 by 2. That is number of vertices 6, so 6 by 2, 3. So 2 less than 3. Okay, then you can check either of the condition di greater than or equal to i plus 1 or dn minus i is greater than or equal to n minus i. So di greater than or equal to i plus 1, the value i and substitute here. t2 value you can see, t2 value is 3. So that 3 is greater than or equal to 3. So this is also okay. Now you can take i equal to 3 and check for i less than n by 2. It's not satisfied. So leave that. You have to check for every i less than n by 2. So 1 less than 3, 2 less than 3. And you have to see whether this condition is satisfied. If it's so, then we can say that this graph is Hamiltonian. So here this graph is Hamiltonian. Right. You can see the next example. This graph is a theta graph. It consists of six vertices and four vertices whose degree is 2 and two vertices of degree 3. So you have to write in ascending order form. So that note as D1, D2, D3, etc. D6. So total number of vertices is 6 here. So as per uh, Chartal theorem, you have to see for every i less than n by 2, either of two conditions, d i less than or equal to, sorry, greater than or equal to i plus 1, or d n minus i greater than or equal to n minus i. So for that, you can do i is equal to 1, 1 less than n by 2, 6 by 2, 3, so 1 less than 3, okay. Then you can check for the condition d i greater than or equal to i plus 1. Substitute the value of i and you can see d1 value is 2. So 2 greater than or equal to 2, it's satisfied. But you can see i is equal to 2 and check uh, i less than n by 2. That is 2 less than 6 by 2, that is 3. Okay, then you can check the next condition d i greater than or equal to i plus 1. So the value of i is 2, so 2 greater than or equal to 3. And you can see d2 value is 2, 2 greater than or equal to 3 is not. So we can say that this graph is not Hamiltonian because, because for every i less than n by 2, either of two conditions, that is di greater than or equal to i plus 1 or dn minus i greater than or equal to n minus 1 should be satisfied. Here it is not satisfied. Hence we can say that the graph is not Hamiltonian. So remember this trick, i less than n by 2, either of the two conditions satisfied, you can say the graph is Hamiltonian. Thank you.